All right, so our app is up. So we had a local host app in our system and uh, that app is now connected into the domain inks out and also it is on the AWS server. So now let's uh, work on the installing SSL, how you can install SSL on this so that we have HTTPS secure uh, route instead of this uh, unsecure. So for doing this, what we need to do again, we will go to the uh, AWS here. You can search simply SSL. And what you're gonna get here is you're gonna get the uh, certificate manager, just click there. So you should have your SSL certificates with you and that's the way I'm going to show you here. So I have the, uh, I used uh, the paid certificate. You can see how I have a certificate here and it's, it is issued by some third party, not by AWS. So what, we, what I did, I simply click here, import. And what we did then, certificate generally provides you three files. Uh, you have oh, those files. So the main certificate body goes here. And also uh, the, so you need to try. So for example, you get the certificate from inksound.com. So the main inksound.com dot C, uh, P -E -M file, you're just gonna open it in the text editor and you're just gonna paste here. So let me give you an example here. All right guys, so working with the SSL is going to be in a few steps. So uh, let me explain you how it goes. First of all, you need to go into your EC2 instance. So here, if I am in terminal, you can see currently we are here. So what we need to do, we need to generate a CSR file and that CSR.pem file, we need to provide to the domain or hosting providers from where you want to get your SSL certificate for your domain. So because when you call them and you are going to tell them that you need the SSL certificate, they're going to ask you the CSR uh, file. So I'm going to show you first how we can generate. This is the link that you can follow. And basically, that's what we are going to do here. So basically here, if I so they cd, we are in root, that means I cd slash etc slash pki and hit there and I ls there too. Then we have uh, cd tls and private. All right, so we have this directory already there. So uh, Beanstalk already placed a file there called localhost.key and this is the file we need. So uh, now you know that this file is placed inside this directory. So what we can do, we can use this file to generate as CSR. So for that, what we need to do, we need to run this command here. So let's do that. So what I do is simply go and hit CD. I go to the project folder of ours. So I say CD, then var, then www, and then HTML. So here I have my Laravel application. So I want to generate the CSR in this directory. So I say sudo and then open SSL and request new dash key. Now it says custom key. We need to provide the full path uh, to our key, which was localhost key. So the path is given here. We're just gonna copy this path and I'm gonna paste here. And then I'm gonna say local Host dot key, all right. And once we have, we put space, and then we say output for dash out, and then we say csr dot pen. Data the uh, local host key here, and the output going to be csr, and we are doing it inside our HTML so our folder, so it is going to generate there. So here. Uh, we note that we are using sudo in front of it, so we have the root access, so we won't face any permission issues. So if I hit return, it asks for country. We need to pause a country as AU for Australia, state Victoria. Then we have the city Melbourne. 
Now you can put your information here, or where you are from and your country and from your website and business. So all the detail for that, that is what is required here. Organization, I'm gonna pass test. Organization name test or test, whatever. So the site that we have, the inksout.com. Okay, and then it says email. You can provide the email where you want to be contacted. So here I post test at gmail.com and here a password. So I just put one, two, three, four, five. Option company name. All right, so if I ls now, you will, yeah, you can see here, csr.pem. Now this is the file that we need to provide to the uh, hosting provider. So once they have this file, and uh, now what we can do basically, they need the content of this file. So what you can do, uh, you open any text editor. So I'm going to open Sublime here. I'm gonna say CSR dot text I'm gonna save it to desktop so here is the file now I need the content of this file so what I do I simply say sudo nano and I say csr dot pen and you can see that content is here so you just copy this con and oh, we open this text editor and here I replace the content okay so you can see that now if you just pause this and uh, you just pass this file to your hosting provider where you're getting the SSL from paid SSL so they will see this file and they will give you the SSL for your uh, website now remember that uh, to generate this we use two files uh, one file so here and we have this local host key so we have to have this key with us um, because when you pause so for example let's say uh, you pa you gave the CSR file CSR file to the hosting provider they provided you the SSL file you come back to this page here it says certificate private key so the private key is the one we use here this local host key so the content of this we can get the content using nano so let me show you that too so simply gonna copy this and here I'm gonna say sudo nano and pause this path you can see that we have a content here so this is the content we need to copy so we simply copy this content and we pass it in the private key now the same way you're going to get the uh, certificate you put the certificate body here and for example what I'm gonna do I'm gonna copy this and paste here however I'm gonna get error but just to show you it's gonna be quite similar but content will be a bit different you hit next it says it's uh, not a valid format because it's not the SSL so you will put here and here the files you get from the SSL the paid SSL private key you add here then you put next and then you add uh, the certificate so in our case I already did it I already have a certificate installed here so the same way you need to do it so once you have here uh, then you can use that certificate in so for example uh, in your load balancer you can select that certificate whatever certificate you have here hope this helped here I have another application so if I go to here in the configuration and here if I scroll down we have load balancer here and if I add it here I scroll down uh, here on top you can see here that there is an event listener added so here you're going to add an event listener you click here and you're going to provide the port 443 you're going to select https here i have the already port uh, selected so it's giving the error then you put 80 here and then you select http in here okay this is going to be the exact setting 
for SSL, you will select your SSL here. It will appear here. So choose. So once you have the SSL saved in the manager, SSL manager, the, um, I showed you before. So that's going to show you here. So you can select here. And once you select the certificate, simply add, and it is going to automatically going to install the certificate for you. Guys, if you like the content of this channel, you can donate a small amount. And you can go to zonks.biz and click on the donate button up there. Also, you can subscribe to the channel, share the content with others, like and give your feedback so that we can improve our videos and the website content. Hope you like it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. And